Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech Tutorials. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys on how to get 60 FPS support in Super Mario Sunshine. Now, the really interesting part is that a lot of games for the GameCube support 60 FPS, but Super Mario Sunshine is not one of them. So in this video again, we're going to show you how to get this game to run at 60 FPS. Now there is a few little glitches here and there, but overall it's actually pretty stable to do. Either the GameCube didn't have enough power to run this game at 60 FPS, or those little tiny glitches were just enough of a factor to make Nintendo permanently turn 60 FPS off and stay at 30 FPS. So if you haven't already done it folks, add the game straight to Dolphin like this. If you don't know how to do that, there's a video down in the description box below and one right up here folks so you guys can do this for yourself to add them into Dolphin directly. The reason why you need to know how to do that is because of the fact you need to know what version your game is running on and have easier access to the Wicca page. Now for me, I'm running a North American version of the game because I am from North America. So with that knowledge known, we're gonna head straight to the Wicca page. So the reason why we need to come to this particular page is because of the fact that we are looking for this particular code right here. So we're going to be using the region Pacific codes because they're going to have less glitches. So we're going to be using the North American version that it happens to be the NTSCU version, which is the North American version. And we're going to add this code to Dolphin. So we're going to highlight all of what we see here, folks. Again, if you're running a PAL version, you're going to use this particular one you're going to basically highlight it all, say copy, and we're going to head back to Dolphin. Now before we copy that code in, we do need to do a configuration so Dolphin will accept the cheat. So to be able to do that, you're going to say enable cheats. So if this is not checkmarked in your version of Dolphin, checkmark it. From this point on, what you're going to want to do is go to properties. And maybe I should explain why I have two versions because I have one coming off an SSD and one that's not. I really should get rid of the one off the non-SSD, but I like to keep it there for a backup just in case. We're going to basically head into, I believe it's AR codes, just to see what uh, the Wicca page says. Uh, these are, from what I can see, Neo Geo codes, so we're going to add it to the Neo Geo code area. We're going to say add new code. We're going to call it whites, or sorry, we're gonna call it 60 FPS. And for the code, we're going to go like this. We don't need this particular area up here, so we're going to delete it. And it should look like this. We're going to hit save, and then we're going to toggle through this particular menu, and we should see that it's now on. But because I have two, because I've already added it once, I am going to remove this particular one. Now we also want to add this falling star glitch fix to this particular version of the game. So once you cause the game to run at 60 FPS, you may get a weird uh, particular glitch going on where there's like little falling stars. So what we're going to do, we're going to basically copy this code. We're going to come back to Dolphin. We're going to add a new code. We're going to paste this code and call it falling star glitch and we're going to hit save now I'm, again I'm going to remove it because of the fact that I already have it and these two alone should get the game to run at 60 FPS and fix that little glitch now I sh said should for this particular falling star glitch because I've actually found adding this code doesn't actually fix the problem there's a texture pack that will actually fix the problem altogether so I'll show you guys on how to add texture packs to uh, Super Mario Sunshine in a later video. But I will leave you guys a link down in the description box below to add the texture pack into the game. So you'll probably see a video, two videos coming through us. One for texture pack HD support and one for falling star glitch texture pack support for 60 FPS. So folks, that's basically how you get the game to run at 60 fps i hope you guys enjoyed this video for today folks and we'll see you guys in the next one